happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I think we're seeing the last of Fannie Willis. Guys, this may have done it. This new groundbreaking information that was just revealed on the Fulton County District Attorney may have just sealed the deal, guys. Uh, we know Fannie Willis for, you know, misappropriating and misusing taxpayer funds in order to bring about these political witch hunt cases, um, you know, she has personal or political interest in. Um, we did not know she's also been misusing and misappropriating money laundering taxpayer funds in order, you know, for personal expenditures like a vacations, um, extended stays with her boo thing. Guys, I'm excited to check out what's going on. Fannie Willis may be going down in big time this time. So we're going to get straight into it, guys, and I'll get my thoughts on the back end, guys. So definitely stick around to the end so you guys get my thoughts on the back end. But let's get straight into it, you guys. Before we do that, though, make sure you guys smash that like button, guys. It does not cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. And also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it, y'all. Fannie Willis is a disgusting, and you're paying for it. They're off having cruises. And then she's paying him to be a lawyer. And the money is coming from taxpayers to fund this whole investigation against Trump. This is a giant scandal. And Fanny got her Fanny caught in the bear trap. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. And we're a little happier because hopefully this could get her thrown off the case because it shows impropriety. There's no way she's being a neutral force. In this case, it proves that we're going to go to the Atlanta uh, Journal Constitution and read the article together. Explosive allegations tonight from one of former President Donald Trump's co-defendants. Here we go. Filing alleges improper relationship between Fulton DA, top Trump prosecutor. Fannie Willis hires alleged romantic partner as special prosecutor court motion says. By the way, it's not alleged. He is. She's already admitted to him being uh, someone romantically involved with her. There he is, Mr. Wade. District Attorney Fannie Willis improperly hired an alleged romantic partner to prosecute Donald Trump and financially benefited from their relationship, according to a court motion filed Monday, which argued the criminal charges in the case were unconstitutional. Pretty bold claims about Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. The bombshell public filing alleged that special prosecutor Nathan Wade, a private attorney, what special prosecutor isn't on the dole in Fulton County on this grift in Fulton County, Georgia? What a criminal organization. It's like the mafia. Michael Roman and his attorney, Ashley Merchant, are claiming District Attorney Fonnie Willis had an inappropriate and romantic relationship with the top prosecutor in the case, Nathan Wade. Paid for lavish vacations he took with Fannie Willis using Fulton County funds his law firm received. County records show that Wade, who has played a prominent role in the election interference case, has been paid nearly $654,000 in legal fees since January of 2022. The DA authorizes, so DA Fannie Willis authorizes his compensation. Now, I don't want to talk about this relationship. He said, she said, it's disgusting. I don't need to know about that. The one thing that we all know right now is that this is not on the up and up. By the way, she covered this relationship up and she covered up all of the money that went to wage. Uh, the, she didn't itemize it as her trips to Florida and her trips to Napa Valley wine uh, country with them, but she just laundered the money to him. So she is, this is crooked guys against Trump. You're paying for it. The motion filed on behalf of defendant Michael Roman. Uh, I'm going to drop a picture of him in real quick so you can see that he's one of the co-defendants with Trump that they tried to get to flip uh, and, and play out. But this is Michael Roman. Has a, This is a whole separate filing from him. A former Trump campaign official seeks to have charges against Roman dismissed and for Willis, Wade, and the entire DA's office to be disqualified from further prosecution of the case. Michael Roman and his attorneys are accusing the Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and special prosecutor Nathan Wade of having an inappropriate and romantic relationship and that the two benefited from it. Pallavi Bailey, a Willis spokeswoman, said the DA's office will respond to Roman's allegation through appropriate court filings. Wade did not immediately respond to a request for comment because she has no answer. 
This is the kind of thing if someone comes to me and says, hey, you had an affair and you paid all this money and you're a criminal, I wouldn't need to go and file an answer. I'd go like, hey, this person's a fraud. I'm going to be counter suing you. This is a lie. This is disgusting. She didn't say that. The document offers no concrete proof of the romantic ties between Willis and Wade. Now, this is journalism's coming in and lying uh, in defense of Fannie Willis. But it says, quote, sources close to both the special prosecutor and the district attorney have confirmed they had an ongoing personal relationship. It is unclear if the explosive issues raised in the filing undermine the validity of the indictment against Trump and the remaining 14 co-dependents or simply mutter the waters by questioning Willis's professional ethics. Now, this is an actual muddying of waters by the people who wrote this article. Nothing in it suggests this, but she's muddying the waters to defend Fannie Willis. I think it is clear that this isn't just a muddying of the waters, but undermine the validity of the indictment against Trump. You know, she could have done this whole thing against Trump just to pay her guy some money. That's how compromised she is. And she's supposed to be neutral. One of the ethics experts said that the allegations, if true, raise serious questions. Stephen Gillers, a professional er emeritus at New York University Law School, who has written uh, extensively about legal and judicial ethics, said, a so this is an actual expert, said a closer look at Willis's decision-making is needed before it can be determined whether the indictment should be dismissed. If the allegations are true, Giller, Giller said, and they are, Willis was conflicted in the investigation and prosecution of this case and wasn't able to bring the sort of independent professional judgment her position required. See, she's supposed to be independent and professional. Does this sound professional to you? Does it sound independent to you that she's being independent when she's banging one of the prosecutors? That does not mean that her decisions were in fact improperly motivated, Giller said in the email. I believe he's wrong on that. It does mean that the public and the state as her client could not have the confidence in the independent judgment that her position required her to exercise. Yeah, I, why would you have confidence in her independence in the first place, in her judgment that it was neutral and fair, given her statements against Trump? The filing alleges that Willis and Wade have been involved in a romantic relationship, gross, that began before Wade was appointed to the special prosecutor. So see, she could have trumped up this entire charge against, against Trump to pay her boyfriend because they were already going. The suit claims Willis and Wade took lavish vacations together and that he used part of his salary from the DA's office to travel with Willis. Roman's attorney claims they discovered that the two went on trips together, quote, outside of court filings. It says they traveled together to Nap Napa Valley. That's wine country. How romantic. And Florida, full of giant bugs that will uh, eat you. Not romantic. And they cruised the Caribbean together. Using tickets Wade purchased from Norwegian and Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, two cruise lines, all the filing did not include documentation of those purchases. So he's getting money. They're taking trips together. He's writing it off. This is typical bribery quid, quid pro quo. The motion said the checks went to Wade from Fulton County. That's you people paying him, paying her ho. And his subsequent purchase of vacations for Willis could amount to honest services fraud. Oh, you think? A federal crime in which a vendor gives kickbacks to an employer. It is also possible this could be prosecuted under the federal racketeering statute, the motion said. Now, here's the irony, my friends. This shows that Fannie Willis is guilty of racketeering. She and Wade, they need to call up RICO charges against them. Let's get 18 defendants dragged into court, co convict them all of racketeering, and make them plea against Fannie Willis. We'll make Wade, her boyfriend, even plead. We'll go, look, you're going to spend some time in prison. This is a felony. You're going away to this Fulton County dump of a prison. Or you can plea against her just to show her what it feels like. Merchant wrote that the motion is not filed lightly, nor is it being filed without considerable forethought, research, or investigation. 
but the issue had to be raised and must be heard because the issues strike at the heart of fairness in our system and if left unaddressed and unchecked, threatened to taint the entire prosecution of the case, invite error and completely undermine public confidence in any outcome in the proceeding. Willis and Wade, the motion contends, have been engaged in an improper clandestine personal relationship during the pendency of the case, which has resulted in the special prosecutor and, executor, and in turn, the district attorney profiting significantly from this prosecution at the expense of the taxpayers. Here's that Roman guy. A problem with Wade's appointment is that it was not approved by the Fulton Board of Commissions as required by law. So we already have Fannie Willis sneaking in Wade behind the scenes, same way that Jack Smith was, appoint was appointed illegally. The motion said the motion also questions Wade's credentials, contending he has never prosecuted a felony case. So he's also just some guy, fresh and clean, no experience. And he happens to land one of the biggest cases in Fulton County's history because of his girlfriend. They claim Willis also failed to get county approval to appoint Wade as special prosecutor in the case. Roman's attorneys are now asking the court to disqualify both of them from prosecuting the RICO case and to drop all of Roman's charges. Wade entered into his special prosecutor contract in November 2021, just one day before he filed for divorce in Cobb County. The motion said Willis is divorced. Wade's divorce is pending because he's got his new girl paying him on the side. Roman's filing also resurfaces an accusation previously made against Wade that his two oaths of office were not filed in court prior to his work on the case, so he misrepresented himself as a duly authorized special prosecutor. That's fraud also. As of now, Michael Roman is still facing a lengthy list of conspiracy charges in connection to the alleged fake elector plot, as well as the violation of the Georgia RICO Act. Okay, so does this get finally get Fannie Willis? Is she finally fired from this case, her and her boyfriend, her and her, the honeypot, the money bags, the criminal, uh, rock, the criminal racketeering of Georgia? Does she get nailed on RICO charges? Do you support it? Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug and Excel. Definitely going to be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those of you who want to go over there and check that out, I wish you guys to go over there and show our friend Doug some love. Oh my goodness, guys. I think this may have just done it. We may have seen the end of Fanny Willis, guys. She is bringing down Mr. Wade, her boyfriend, with her. This guy comes out of nowhere. This is all because one of the 18 other co-defendants um, in Trump's racketeering case, Fort County, Georgia, is not going to back down mr roman and his team will not back down guys they have done some very deep digging found out that you know fanny willis is in connection with this special counsel um that she is appointed wrongfully appointed another supposed special counsel just like jack smith fanny willis thought she was exempt you know from people doing investigations on her People have dug deep, done a little research on what's going on. Come on now, guys. Are we really going to let Fannie Willis fool us into believing that she is straight and narrow other than the fact that she brings about, you know, these political witch hunt cases against, you know, people that she has personal personal and uh, political vendettas against, guys. I can't buy that. And neither did Mr. Roman's legal team. That is why they did the proper dig and the proper research um, needed to, you know, nail Fannie to the coffin. And this one, I think, has done it, guys. You can't tell me that she is not, you know, having personal gain from bringing about, you know, this racketeering case um, where essentially her boyfriend is being paid over a half a million dollars, guys, and they're taking trips together. I mean, come on now, guys. Fannie Will is going to have some trouble trying to, you know, convince us otherwise. There is some definite personal interest in why she has hired Mr. Wade or appointed Mr. Wade, I should say, um, illegally appointed Mr. Wade um, to be the special counsel in prosecuting uh, Donald Trump. Mr. Wade's never even prosecuted what is it called? A felony before, guys. I mean, we can't even really be mad at Mr. Wade. He's at the beginning of his career, you know. He's just trying to, you know, get a leg up. Fannie Willis, though, we have to shame her uh, for this one. She knows better. This is all a very huge turn of events, um, especially for, you know, Fannie Willis's case. We've seen Jack Smith's case kind of falling over on his head while we're waiting for, you know, the appeals courts to rule on Trump's immunity. Now we've got Fannie Willis with this uh, big fraud slash money laundering scheme she's been having going on underneath the taxpayer's nose this whole time. Taxpayer funded schemes, um, all these vacations. With all this information that we just seen being 
uncovered, guys. We definitely need to see some type of recourse of action um, for Fanny Willis's actions. Um, the way she's been carrying out her office, guys, uh, unlawfully appointing this special counsel that's her, also her boyfriend, you know, personally benefiting off of him getting paid, him being appointed, and him prosecuting Trump, guys. Uh, this is not right. Definitely hop in the comment section, guys, and let me know your thoughts, guys. Is this the end of the row we're seeing for Fannie Willis in her Trump case, guys? Or do you think she'll be able to weasel her way out of it, guys? Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys smash that like button, guys. It does not cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. And also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. I'll catch you guys on the next one. We go.